My name is Rodney O'Sullivan. I'm the depot manager of Swanwick Gundries and Castown Bear. We're a net manufacturer and ship chandlers to the Whitefish fleet of Ireland. We, our customer base is the whole fleet of Ireland really, uh, but we, we, we mainly base out of the southwest. Uh, my father started, joined this company back in 1989, and back then it was called Gundries, and I joined the company in um, 1990, so I was 32 years working with the company. Since 1989, we have mostly um, 10 staff, so that's 10 families that we're um, contributing into the local economy here in Castonbeer. The fishing industry has changed so much since 1989. Back then, the fleet was kind of timber boats, but there was way more boats. Through the 90s and the 2000s, really in the 2000s and the 90s, they that modernizing the fleet and we have a fine fleet now in Ireland but there the government and the EU are on about decommissioning the boats. Back in the in the 90s there was 70 vessels alone cast on bear and now there's 180 vessels in the whole of Ireland and the government is looking to decommission 60 of them so we've down to 120 vessels for the whole coast. For those vessels to be down to 120, that has a huge detrimental effect on the business because um, there's going to be less work. Um, the same suppliers are in there will be competing for less customers. And obviously, I've no guarantee if I can keep the amount of staff that we actually have at the moment if the work isn't there. Um, Castle Bear is very dependent on fishing, um, not just Castle Bear, but Ewan Hall, Kelly Beggs, Ross Aveal, Hoth. Um, the fishing, what if, if the fishing goes in cast down, really, you nearly want to block the road and just cut the peninsula off because there will be nobody here. If the decommissioning comes in, I can just see the town will actually be destroyed. The, the pubs, the shops, everything has a spin off of the fishing. Um, they won't be half the population here. We had a big influx in the early 2000s of East Europeans, which are great people to work with, but we can actually even see the Eastern Europeans leaving the peninsula at the moment because they don't see the future in, in the locality, which is off the sea that the people who've come in to go working here actually can see that there's no future here. The manufacturing net is all manufactured by hand. The nets come in big bales and a pattern is actually cut out of the net to actually make the shape for it to fish. So the easy way to describe a fishing net is like a kite in the sky, only that it's a kite in the water. So if you even move a kite in the sky by a couple of inches, it changes direction. So if the net is even out by 50 mil, the net won't actually work properly. And all that is a skill base that has been built up through the years, through the fishing, that how to design the nets, how the nets work, because the whitefish nets are actually on the bottom the boats know the nets are out, but they can't see what's going on. So they have to ma make sure that the nets are actually working properly. And that's actually a skill base that has been passed down from generation to generation. Everyone knows how to mend nets came through the fishing industry. They start off on deck, they start mending nets, they learn the skill. So the majority of my employees actually are ex-base fishermen that start off fishing in the beginning. Well, if the fishing goes from the locality, that skill base is totally gone because it's unique to the fishing locality. If you went into Cork City, you don't need that skill base. That skill base is totally wiped out of the, out of the whole nation of Ireland if the fishing is gone.